What's going on guys? So, I, I never thought that I would be making this video, um, but I guess before I get into it, I'll kind of explain why I haven't been uh, posting my daily vlogs, and that is because, that's because we've been making a movie, me and Brady and uh, his cousin Garrett, um, who are more than likely eventually going to be my future roommates, but um, that's that's why, and uh, I guess I'll get into the uh, the title of this video, um, which is my use of steroids. So before I start, I kind of have to like give you some background of like my fitness journey. Um, but basically, um, I started running track at in high school, well, really junior high, um, and then I started running cross country in um, my sophomore year of high school. So just right off the back, I was really, I was really like a really skinny guy with like zero muscle mass. Uh, I didn't have any fat, like I barely had any fat at all. <coughs> like I was honestly probably like seven, eight percent body fat. It was very low, but for the amount of running I did, that was normal, right? So out of high school, I still ran for a couple years because I, I still like doing the like half marathons and, and 5Ks and stuff. Like I was in that scene still. Um, but I knew that I wanted to be a personal trainer, so I, I ended up, uh, I got a job at a gym um, where basically I, I just did nothing but clean all day and take out trash. That's literally what I did. Like I was, my, my job title was like cleaner or something like that or custodian or whatever it is, you know what I mean? So I did that, worked at another job. Um, so I was working a lot, a lot. Um, like I would work eight hours there and then work ten hours at another job five days out of the week, you know what I mean, it was, it was tough, but did all of that just so that I could <coughs> um, really start saving up for like my um, personal training certificate or my classes and stuff like that, um, and then when I did it, I, I bought my my classes and my online schooling and stuff like that, and then I quit the other the other job, so now I was just, I was just, now I was just custodian at, um, at the gym, right? So all I did was clean, and uh, I studied, you know, when I was not sleeping. So before I before I started, or before I came, became a personal trainer, I knew that I was a really scrawny guy, I was really skinny, and I had zero muscle mass on me, so I knew that I needed to look the part. So what I did was I started lifting weights. I would lift weights until, like, I'd start at, like, midnight, sometimes 10, 8, or 10 p.m., and I would, I would work out until like 2 a.m. And I have a lot of friends who can testify to that. So I invited friends to come work out with me. And they would stay with me in the gym until like 2 a.m. <clears throat> well, six months later, I've, I've put on like a ton of size. Um, and uh, my abs are like built up finally. Because um, I, I had abs when I, when I ran cross country and stuff. But they weren't like big and they weren't like that noticeable. I wasn't very shredded. Uh, I eventually started liking the way that I was looking and, and changing my body for the better, so I completely stopped running at this point, and I just wanted to pursue bodybuilding. Um, but I actually just wanted I wanted to be a natural bodybuilder because I was like very prideful on you know how far I, I had gotten um, without any steroids, really hardly any supplements, just like um, like protein powder. Uh, no, I didn't even take creatine or pre workout. It was like literally just protein powder and BCAs. That's all I ever took. Right, so we're gonna fast forward to two years in. I've put on a ton more size naturally, <clears throat> but um, I put on a ton more size naturally. But I wanted to get bigger and I wanted to compete. So now I had a goal that I wanted to compete in a physique show because many people have been telling me, "Dude, you're looking great. You need to compete." Like honestly, if you just brought out these points on your body more, like focus on these areas, you could do some damage, right? So. I start looking into different shows, and um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it by myself, and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be great. Well, I had uh, been looking into it, and I never really committed to it <clears throat> until um, last year. Well, not even last year. It was like literally in April of this year, so it was probably like uh, eight months ago. Or am I dumb? Ah, like eight months ago, we'll call it eight months. I did that show naturally, but I had dieted down so much that uh, I had lost a lot of muscle, so I didn't have full muscle, and uh, 
my my conditioning honestly wasn't that good. Like I was holding water weight. I was, I mean, I was, I want to say seven percent body fat on on stage day, the day of my show, which isn't bad. But that's not the leanest I've ever even been since working out. Like I've been leaner uh, since the process. Um, I just looked. I didn't look terrible. I didn't look that great, and. I'm not proud of that performance at all. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do another show. So I'm gonna sign up for another one. If you're not familiar with competitions, basically like 95% of the people who do competitions are taking steroids. Like, it doesn't matter if they're successful or unsuccessful in bodybuilding. Like, they could be a pro or an amateur. 95% of the guys take steroids, and there's almost a 100% chance that they're taking steroids if they're a pro. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I just got Starbucks for free. <laughs> dope <laughs> so uh anyways so i'm like you know what i'm gonna start doing a little bit more research which i had already been researching steroids and stuff like that because i knew it was very popular in the gym scene uh i know there's a lot of guys who who take steroids in the gym and they're just they just lie about it uh and there's a lot of guys who take take steroids who don't even look as good as me or as good as someone yeah there's a lot of guys that take steroids that i look better than so i was like if i take steroids I could look even way like way better, and you know, I could do some damage in, in in competitions. That's exactly what I started doing. Now I'm gonna get into the like the the first thing that um, I noticed when I started taking uh, steroids. The first thing that you notice is that like your patience goes way down, right? So like you have a very short temper, you get aggravated with everyone, and this is the one thing that I hate the most, only because this thing destroys relationships kills them like you have to you have to distance yourself from family friends you just want to be alone you don't want to talk to anyone and it just destroys relationships the second thing that you start noticing and the side effects are different for everyone but for me uh it was like uh my face felt like puffier you know my face felt a little bit puffier and a little bit more round uh and then uh i'm like if you're like prone to acne which i am like that's one of the next things like i started getting more acne on my face and at, on my back and stuff like that, which I've already had, you know, like, I've, I've always had, like, I haven't had the best skin ever, so, like, I was just like, man, it's whatever, I'm just, you know, it's whatever, but yeah, if I could, if I, if I could change any of that, it would be the, the temper thing, like, I, I would much rather <laughs> keep the relationships, um, over, over everything else, but, uh, also, um, the last thing I want to, I want to point out is that, um, uh, my, for my use of steroids, um, I've actually never done steroids, and this whole video is just a big joke. Um, so, yeah, uh, guys, get muscles. Peace.